Every day, hundreds of college students do embarrassing things. They try and pretend like nobody saw them, but we all did. There's no shame in doing embarrassing things. We're all human. But some people do it more than others. Some people have made it a trademark. Some people, like Greg. Greg has been in college so long. You think he'd know not to do these things by now. You can help a student like Greg out by avoiding them at all costs. After all, you don't want to look like this, do you? <laughs> it's Sunday, February 1st, and it's time for This Week at SFT. This week's guest, the Santa Fe Traditions Hall Association. And here's your host, Greg Scamato. Hey everyone, welcome to This Week at SFT. It is February 1st and it is Super Bowl Sunday. Now I know this is a big game, but we also have a big show. And it's Super Bowl themed, ironically enough. And by Super Bowl theme, I mean we're only showing commercials. Basically. So, sit right there, enjoy our commercials. I'll be right back. Has this ever happened to you? I'm gonna take a nice boombox, loser. Introducing Santa Bay, the better way to try to take your neighbors on a date. It's easy using our patented three-step system. Step one, fill out the information card at the tradition's front desk. Step two, show up to the event in the Santa Fe lobby Tuesday, February 10th at 8 p.m. to see if your name gets drawn. Step three, go out with whoever you'd like. You're saying I can go out with whoever I like? Well, not exactly. If your information card gets drawn, you'll know the week before the show. Then the audience will show up to the event, and three volunteers will be picked to answer a variety of questions of your choosing. The contestants who answer your question best will win a date with you. Oh boy, I'm so excited! But wait, there's more! Not only do you win a date with someone, but you don't have to pay for any of it. That's right, the winning couple will be given a gift card to an area restaurant valued at $20. So what's the catch then? There is no catch. Sign up today at the Traditions Front Desk. Welcome back, everyone. I uh, want to let you guys know that intramural basketball season is right around the corner. So go now and sign up at the Trad Traditions Front Desk. You just put your name, your room number, and your phone number, and we'll get in contact with you shortly. Now sit right there and enjoy our next commercial. 911, what's your emergency? I, I'm on a date and I have no idea what to do. I just, sir, I, sir, I need you to calm down. Where are you right now? I'm at a movie theater. We, we came here because I didn't want to have to talk tonight, but now we're going for ice cream after the movie and I don't know what to say. Well, have you heard a dating panel? What? Dating panel. It's February 4th at 7 p.m. in the Santa Fe lobby. That would be the perfect place to answer all your questions. Well, how can I ask them my questions? By writing them down and turn it into the Traditions Front Desk. But won't people know it's my question? No, it's completely anonymous. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, what gender is your date? Female. Great. You can just spend the night listening then. Okay, thank you for your help. No problem, sir. That's what we're here for after all. Dating advice. Don't waste these people's time. Come to the dating panel and get your questions answered. Wednesday, February 4th at 7 p.m. in the Santa Fe lobby. February 4th. February 4th. February 4th! Welcome back once again. Uh, I had the honor this week to sit down with my staff, the Residence Hall Association, and ask them some questions about um, just themselves so you guys can get to know them a little better. So I put together this little piece for you. I hope you enjoy it. If you do want to get involved with the Residence Hall Association, we have internal affairs officers meetings every week at 7 p.m., tentatively in the Santa Fe lobby. Please be there. I wanted to build like a better bond with people and be in a leadership role here on campus and that was my first way in as a freshman. I wanted to get some experience in um, dealing with people and programming things along those lines. I just being able to meet new people and you know give back to the community. I joined the Hall Association because I believe it would be a a really good opportunity to have a leadership role and I thought it would give me experience. The reason why I wanted to join Hall Association was because I was so involved in high school and I, when I got to college I was kind of just like, wow, I'm starting from the bottom again. I don't know what I'm going to do. And so Hall Association was kind of just like the perfect opportunity to just jump back in where I was when I left off. 
I was told I'd get more Twitter followers. Yet to see it. My favorite thing about SFT would probably have to be goofing around with like the RAs and the desk clerks because they're all just too goofy. The private rooms. My favorite thing about SFT is seeing all my friends in the lobby and just walking out and being able to start a conversation with somebody. I would say um, our family atmosphere here, we're really trying to build that and push that and that's like my favorite thing. Uh, ping pong and pool every day. It's pretty cool. My favorite thing about SFT is the bonds within the halls and the connections and the friendships. My own program of Glen Coco Grams. It starts on February 7th. Come make yourself a Valentine. Deposit it in the box. It will be hand delivered. I need your name, um, who is it to, and their room number. It's going to be awesome. This semester, I'm most looking forward to um, the potluck program, which will be on March 1st. It's going to be an awesome time just to kind of have a whole bunch of good free food. So I'm pretty excited for that. This semester, I'm looking, the, the program I'm looking forward to most would have to be the ice cream social and barbecue. We're going to be like grilling out in the front of traditions, eating ice cream, having our time together, you know, getting to know each other. You know, class is really hard on like a Wednesday, I believe. So why not just come out, get you some food and eat some ice cream? Oh, uh, root beer pong. The program will be held April 16th. Um, that's a Thursday afternoon. The program is going to be basically um, root beer pong and we also learned a lesson of how drunk you are if you were to be drinking alcohol. The open mic night. Um, you can come down, you can lip sing, you can do drag, Jesse, anything you want and just have a good time. The program I am most looking forward to this semester is a program called Peace Out SFT. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It is a goodbye program for SFT and you get to sign your books and say goodbye to your friends to wrap up the end of the year. Probably interesting. Perfectionist, because I like to win. Ambitious. The best, because it's my last name. Tubby. Thank you guys for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to be back next week with a bunch of special guests. You're not going to want to miss this one. I can't tell you who they are right now, but you'll see. See you guys this week.